Uh, we're going to look a bit into Ghanaian language literature this morning. Reading opens your mind, it uh, broadens your knowledge base as well, but all the better, all the more exciting if it is in a Ghanaian language. This morning we're talking about the Ghanaian Languages Literature Festival, which is organized by Bright Ghana, and they are giving us a generous display of Ghanaian literature in various Ghanaian languages. And so to tell us more, we have Rita Isifo, who's a team member at Write Ghana, as well as Nikita Ajirako, who's the founder of Write Ghana and a PhD candidate of the University of Bay Bayreuth <laughs> in Germany. You're welcome to TV3 New Day. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Good to have you. Uh, let's go um, straight into it. I'm wondering why, you know, we should even celebrate Ghanaian languages literature in the first place. I realized that back in you know school we had a lot of you know Ghanaian languages during we would learn Ghanaian uh, literature during uh, you know the Ghanaian language class so Gantry and all of that that's when we would read these books but why again do we need to have a festival for it? The issue with us now is mm -hmm. that a lot of the times when we get older there isn't so much access to text in Ghanaian languages okay. particularly with literature so poetry, prose, novels there's not so much that exists for us. So Ghanaian languages, a lot of times in Ghana, is restricted to either translations of Bible of the Bible from English, mm. or as a sort of educational tool for people learning them. Yeah. And for us, we thought that it's very important for us to be able to create a platform for there to be access to this literature, especially because you can find English language text everywhere, but yes, you cannot true. get literature in Ghanaian languages so easily available mm. in libraries or in bookshops or even in the markets. Yeah, okay. And Niki, uh, Rita, do we have even more um, authors actually writing in Ghanaian languages, aside those that we see in our schools? Well, we do have some, but when it comes to publicity, mm. it's very limited. So it's so, a w so how do they spread the, the books then? When you go to the publishing houses, I know that Ghana Writers Association, we have some Ghanaian authors who they publish their books and make it known to Ghanaians. So it's one way that we get to know about their books. Oh, okay. And um, Nikita, let's talk a bit more about the festival. What exactly is the focus? So the focus on the f of the festival is literature in Ghanaian languages. It's actually mm. really easy. Um, the, m the main thing is that we are giving awards to the winners of a short story prize that we had this year, which is the Ghanaian Languages Short Story Prize. Okay. So we had authors from six different languages, Gatri, Ewe, Fanti, Dangbe, and Dagbani. All right. And it was a competition that ran for about five months, and we had submissions from an average of 12, 12 stories per language. Mm. And we... Um, so these were short stories which covered any theme okay. which could be for children or for, could be for adults. And now we have our winners and the main thing that we are going to do on Saturday is to award these winners of these oh, languages. Wow. But we also have writing workshops for adults and one for children. Okay. We are going to show films that cover Ghanaian languages. Okay. We are showing, um, yeah, we have book readings, we have poetry performances, we have music performances also happening. All in the Ghanaian language? All in the Ghanaian language. All in the yes. Ghanaian language. I'm wondering, when did you organize the competition and how long did it take to you know, get all the submissions in? The competition ran from March. March I think it started yeah. in March, March and it ran till September. Okay. So it was actually... So they had enough uh, time. There was a lot of time. And, and how did you, uh, Rita, how did you you know, pick the winners at the end of the day? We, we had judges who were, who are, most of them are lecturers in the university, so oh. we gave it to them for them to judge. So, and we also had a criteria. Mm. So you have to write, the maximum words was 5,000. Right. Yes, okay. and we, we were expecting specific things that we needed, so the guidelines like. were... So you have to, it has to be in the Ghanaian language, at least there should be something cultural about mm. it and the language when it comes to grammar and things like okay. that. Yes. So the story had to have the Ghanaian culture infused with it, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, so it brought, it brought it back to our roots. Yes. It didn't have to be something fantastic, something no. taken from the West or anything of that sort. We didn't mind having stories like that. Mm. One thing we're very worried of, of is this connotation that we have as Ghanaians that Ghanaian languages equals folk tales. Right. And we did not want, even though we wanted something infused with the culture, we did not want people to rewrite folk tales for us. And we did not get that, which was really great. Okay. We got people who created stories which were set in their towns, set, mm. you know, with the Ghanaian names. Mm. And that, that, I think, was the, the beauty of the short story prize okay. that we had. So your, 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 one of your activities you mentioned is to actually have a workshop for writing. Mm -hmm. uh, is, do you think that it, it would, there are people who would actually benefit from this? 
Yes, definitely. We have met a lot of authors, or we've been contacted by a lot of authors who, poets, you know, novelists, who even though have the ideas for writing the stories, don't have the technical part oh, of writing. Okay, okay. So we partnered with the Bureau of Ghana Languages, and okay. they are bringing um, facilitators. We have some published authors who mm. are also coming. We're going to speak to these aspiring authors and teach them how to write, especially with the technical part, but also about access to publishing. How okay. do you access a publisher? Who Great. are the publishers who exist in Ghana for okay. publishing? Okay, that's actually a good one because I know of some people who, you know, they write, they've been writing for years, but how to go about it and to actually make some money off of that has been a problem for them. So when is this happening again? 7th December, this Seventh. Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. 7th December, where? At Gothe Institute, okay. Cantonment. Cantonment, yes. Gothe Institute. Yes. Okay, uh, what time? From 9 to 9 p.m., 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to 9, 9 p.m. Because okay. it's going to run for the whole day. The whole day. Yeah. Okay, so all the activities are just for that one day. Yes. All right. And a quick one, how do we find your social media? So in case we would like to, you know, find out more or see what's happening, we can get that as well. Okay. So it's Right Ghana on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Right Ghana. Yes. Like right. right. Ghana. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Rita Isifo, who's a team member of Right Ghana, as well as Nikita Adrako, the founder of Right Ghana. They're organizing the Ghanaian Languages Literature Festival, which is happening this Saturday at the Gothe Institute. And that is exciting. So if you're interested in writing, poetry, whatever it is, come by and see what it is.